Yesterday I made a nice little uh, video called Another Wonderful Flat Earth Proof. And uh, it's receiving um, some uh, back and forth in the comment section, which I like. I, I uh, uh, welcome, um, you know, fighters who want to come in and spar this out with me. I think it's a lot of fun, man. And uh, it's great, you know, like... More than three people saw this video and commented, so for me that's huge. Anyway, um, so I got into it with one guy named Poopy Town Cat, and I'm not really in the mood to to cover this right now because it is quite a mind bender. And I I was out uh, late last night. I might have had one too many because it was party time. I felt like having some, and uh, today the the uh, old noodle is a little bit like. Not really on on the high octanes, <clears throat> you know. But I'm gonna try, man, because I don't. I wanna. I'll be damned if I let a guy named Poopy Town Cat beat me in any kind of debate, especially a flat Earth d debate, where I uh, view myself as an expert. So um, he made a good. So so to try to prove him wrong i gave him a, an example or an analogy of uh what if we weren't on a globe okay before i go down that road all right my, my mind is a little bit misfiring let me let me before i get to that let me say this so so the video i did just shows uh what would happen if a helicopter if we drilled a whole tunnel through the earth and a helicopter some guys got on a helicopter and just went down and through to the other end the problem is that they come out like the same way they went in, but when they get to the bottom, like everyone's upside down. So how does how is that possible? It's impossible, and if something's impossible, it can't happen. It means something's wrong with this model. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. Um, so this dude, uh, Poppy Town Cat, says, uh, "Try to get the camera." I mean. Okay, he says, uh, good thought experiment. You have to include gravity in your experiment. Here's what I think would happen. So right there, he says, here's what he thinks would happen. You know, when we get into this uh, topic of gravity, it's like you have to think what might happen because nobody can see it. It's like Santa Claus. It's like a word for something that you believe exists, but no one can point to it. I mean, there's microwaves. I have a microwave. It cooks food. There's like a real power there that works. I have a radio. We used to, I don't really have a radio actually anymore, but the radios work. You know, internet works. Gas works in my car. Um, bombs work. They explode. Electricity works. Where's the gravity oven or the gravity car or the gravity bomb? Like, it's just like this invisible uh force that pulls us down i mean I, I you know again i am coming to rest on the earth so what's making that happen well a, a helium balloon doesn't come to rest it you know where's your gravity then because it's lighter than the air but why is it lighter oh because of gravity so you go in a circle it's a tough thing to to um tackle but there is there does appear to be a downward um settling to the earth and it might be a little bit of a spirit amount a little bit but it could be a, a, a spiritual uh symbol that you know we want to transcend above earthly things but i won't get into all that let me just read what he says so so he gets to that here's what i think would happen if the helicopter went down gravity would decrease as you descend and will get to zero at the center I didn't know that. Actually, I looked up gravity on Wikipedia. It just has to do with a big mass attracting smaller masses. Like if there's a bunch of molecules in something, it's going to have gravity like a big planet. I thought it had to do with the density of the matter towards the core. But I, as much as I searched that, I didn't find any of that. You know, I was spacing out in school and I didn't really go. I mean, the schools, they don't they don't really teach you much, man. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'm learning here as I go along. Oh, shit, man. What is going on? Here? Okay. So um, so it just has to do with 
a mass. So I'm just going to say, so then if if a grasshopper is standing next to a skyscraper, or no, let's put it, let's say a ruler, you wouldn't, you shouldn't be able to balance a ruler on its edge. It would be hard, but let's say you could. You should, you wouldn't be able to if it was next to a skyscraper, because the skyscraper with its ma great mass would always kind of tip it over towards itself. Even though the Earth is pulling it down, the skyscraper, or imagine something big like the Titanic or the the International Space Station maybe would tip that ruler over. But we don't see that happening. You know, it's just like in a cartoon, in a Discovery uh, Channel uh, video that some artists made. You see the planets and how gravity works, but not, you can never demonstrate one object pulling another because it's big. You know, um, uh, so... Uh, Okay, I was going to make a joke there about something, but I'm not going to do that. Um, girls with big parts kind of attract a little, but anyway. Um, so he's saying, as the, as the helicopter slowly descended, it would need less and less lift. As you reach the center, you will not be able to go any further unless you flip, unless you flip it over and use its lift to go up the other side. Why? Why? See, that's another theory. He says, as you reach the center, you will not be able to go any further. Why? Why not? What's there? There's nothing there in that tunnel. It's empty. The mass is around you, but what you're traveling through is just air. So he says, as you reach the center, you will not be able to go any further unless you flip it over and use its lift to go up the other side. The best way to get something to the other side, if you could suck all the air out of the hole, would be to just let let it fall, let something fall. It would achieve maximum speed. I've heard this before at, at the center and then keep going to the other side where it would slow to zero velocity and, and you could catch it. If you didn't catch it, it will fall back and continue going back and forth for a very long time. It would be like a satellite in orbit. How do you know that? But that, I guess that's the uh, theory. You know, if you use the falling method, you will probably want to create your hole from the North Pole to the South Pole. I don't know why that would be. Why couldn't I just make it from America to China? Um, it used to be China used to be under America. Now Australia is. And that's like is that like a Mandela effect? I don't know. They always say, can you dig a hole to China? And now I think now Australia is. If you dig a hole, we get to Australia. But anyway, he says you would um, method. You would probably want to create your hole from the North Pole to the South Pole. I don't know why he says that. If there's no such thing as up and down, it's all relative. Why would that matter? Now think about what happens when you. Now, and it goes this way. He goes, now think about what happens when you dig your hole through the flat earth and the helicopter comes out the bottom. Nothing happens. It works on a, just fine on a flat earth. All the, the beings in Hades would be right side up. Everyone on top of the earth on the surface would be right side up. And the, the saints, angels, and God in heaven are, are right side up looking down at us. So everything is in, in proper order. So not, 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 it would work fine on a, on a flat earth. I don't know why he couldn't figure that out. Maybe he's joking. There would be no problems because, um, because it's reality. On, on, so, so then I made a, uh, I tried to, you know, we debated back and forth. And uh, um, he's a nice guy. I like that he's respectful. There's another guy that's very nasty. He looks just like this, like a safari guy. His name is Joe's Lays. Lays. I'm going to do a video about him after this. He's a very nasty, bad boy. He was cussing and calling me stupid. I'm just having a talk, man. What is what is your problem? He's, where is he? He's here. This guy. This guy right here. Joe's Lays. Him. He, he'll just like, whatever the mainstream narrative says, that's what he says. Like, no matter what. And everyone else is just like a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I'll get him later. First, I'm going to deal with this gentleman. 
uh, poopy town cat. Um, so, so to, uh, um, to kind of, uh, explain my point, uh, I, I made an, an analogy. Okay. Cause he's using gravity that would cause problems here. So I said, okay, well imagine if, if there was just a beach ball in space and there were ants crawling around it, no gravity, they just used their sticky feet, uh, to, you know, uh, roam around that ball and, uh, then do the same experiment have some of them get into a helicopter and drop from top to bottom. How would that work? And he said, well, they would just get to the bottom and uh, they would see that they were upside down relative to the, all the other guys and they need to turn back around. So he kind of, he kind of got me there, but, but um, the, the point is that that is the point. It, it can work in, now this, I hope I can explain this right. It would work in that, in that scenario, but, because you're eliminating the gravity. So you just have a ball with, with things crawling around it. So then the, what's, what you're sticking to becomes relative. If, if the ball, the beach ball is not hanging above the earth, cause then they, the one, you know, the ones on the bottom would kind of fight gravity more to hold on. And the ones on the top would kind of just not really have to work as hard to hang on. I use the word gravity. So what? They, they, something's, something is causing pulling down that's true but down is down to heck not to the center of a mass so anyway you could call it gravity man that doesn't matter really but it's just, it's not what we're told it is okay anyway so um it would so if that beach ball was in space uh with nothing to relate up and down to just empty space, no planets, no stars, no, no nothing. Well, I guess there could be planets and stars, but just it's far enough away from any of those things to have any influence on the ball. The ants would just be free to roam around. Um, he made some jokes about flat earth ants being on there. I, I didn't get it really. I have to read that again. But um, um, I'm going to say... Oh, well, in that case, there wouldn't be any flat earth ants if they're on a beach ball because they could just crawl around that ball and they'd know that they start at point A and go go straight and end up at point A again. You know, no one can do that on the earth. You can catch a flight from L.A. but you won't and go one way, go east from Los Angeles. You're not going to end up in Los Angeles again. There's no such flight. You know, you'd have to make a bunch of stops around along the way around that cir <coughs> circle. A lot of stops. Nobody. There's no such flight. You can't go one way and come back where you came from. I mean, maybe you could. Maybe we're wrong. But I, no one has done that. Sorry, except the, those jokers on the ISS who are like filming that in a film studio somewhere with their CGI effects that go wrong quite often. And the hairspray on the girls. It's just so ridiculous. All those morons up there acting like idiots. Proving, proving they're in space by flipping. The old guys always have to prove it. Oh, look at me. I am in space. And I'll prove it by flipping. So anyway. Uh, anyway. Back to this. Okay. So. But. the It would work on a beach ball without gravity and without anything to relate up and down to and but but if you include the gravity you have a problem because uh oh, let me read my note here okay it breaks down become okay it, it would break down becomes a reality break down. okay the tunnel is empty and hollow there's nothing there why would up and down change because because Okay, that's what I wrote. Um, with the ants on the beach ball, it is relative to the beach ball, um, how they, you know, roam around on the surface of it. But um, on a globe, where the premise is, so they're not, so the ants are sticking to the beach ball with, with their uh, hooks on their feet. Um, there wouldn't be any gravity in that in that air-filled beach ball. Not enough to do anything. 
Um, but on the earth, there's this magical gravity. And, uh, and the problem on earth is you can't fly through the center of it in a helicopter and end up on the other side with your own relative uh, up and down that you started with at the top of the earth where you started, where you dug the hole and you dropped in with that helicopter like this. You know, this on the globe is like a, you, you just relative to the center of earth, you're on top. Your direction down is this way but but here the direction is the other uh, like here it's the opposite way so if these guys start in the in the helicopter um because of gravity not because they're sticking to the earth with hooks on their feet like ants you know so so it becomes like re it's like a reality shift there's a reality of of what up and down is and is not there's no such thing as up and down, just relative to where you are to the center. Whereas on the beach ball, it's not that way. Anyway, so the, so the up and down on a on a uh, beach ball in space really doesn't exist because there's nothing to compare it to. But on on the Earth, there's a problem because these these guys are bringing their relative uh, up is up and down is down. So for them, up is this way, down is this way. For these guys, up is this way, down is that way. It's the opposite. So when these guys drop down, they're bringing their relative up and down with them all the way down. And then they end up here, and then you have a reality breakdown. You know, why are they right, wrong? They started here. They just took a trip down the tunnel. I mean, look at it like this. I drew this little amazing picture so th what you're looking at it would be like would be like this this isn't as good of a picture but like imagine like this is like the moon stars this is a planet there's a dude standing here looking down a hole through that planet and like another guy there's like another guy i didn't draw him very well like at the bottom of the hole looking back up at him so here's a little more clear so on this drawing you can't see the outer perimeter of that globe that they're on, but but you got a close up of the guy looking down the hole. There's blue sky he sees. That's that's number one reality breakdown right there. He's seeing he's looking down and seeing a blue sky on the other side of that globe, Earth. And there's a guy here like waving back at him. Hi, how you doing up there? And he's looking like what the heck, down at him. So, um, if he were to no, now, of course, you know, the, the size is like totally different. It would be a much, much, much deeper hole, but that's all that would change. Um, this could be able to happen if we had the technology to drill all the way through the earth and make a secure tunnel. There's no reason why this can't happen. It, it wouldn't be like drilling a hole through a beach ball. That would just pop it and the whole thing would just like, you know, fly around like a like a balloon and just it'd be done with. But but in the earth, you could uh, technically drill right through it without causing any harm um, from one side through to the other. Uh, and uh, you have a problem because his up and down is different from his up and down. So if he were to jump in there, it could look like this, except much deeper. But it's just a ride from, from here, you jump to here. It would take longer than, than this appears, but this would be like a tiny small earth. But you know what I'm saying? It would just be a jump from here to here. Where's your gravity in this tunnel that is going to block you or flip you upside down so that you come out the other way you know um but you need that to happen for this to work for for your globe to work you need a problem to occur in the middle but uh there's nothing in the middle like a dragon waiting that's going to eat you like a real dragon or like like um you know, a wall that, that you just can't get through. No, we went through it. Let's just say we can go through. 
there's nothing there. The mass is on this side and on this side, like all around. You know, and I maybe I'll do that in another video. But if the guy's in the middle, which he's not gonna fall this way, he's not gonna fall this way. Is he gonna stick to one wall? So then let's say let's say a guy's in the middle of Earth in like a chamber, in a chamber. Is he gonna be pulled this way? Like if he's a little closer to this first surface, then he's getting pulled this way, but then this guy's down is that way. So now you have a new center of mass. Like the whole thing doesn't make sense, man. But um, so I don't know if I need to keep keep uh, rambling on about it, but um, to make it simple and clear, there is no obstacle in this tunnel that would cause any problems um, for these guys to need to flip around. They just you just drop right in. You just you just hop in. But um, you when you get to the bottom. doesn't make sense anymore because you brought your up and down with you down there you know and uh it, it 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 it's outside the bounds of reality plus you're looking down at the sky you know it, it it's a mind bender man but um i'll just leave it at that um that um it should work just fine but it doesn't work for you guys.